Hi everyone, just want to say that the video caller team for the next couple of videos might be going down since I'm very sick at the moment. Uh, I had the vaccine yesterday and didn't realize my body would react like this, so if I mumble my words or just seem very tired, I'm really sorry. Anyway, thanks for understanding guys and I hope you enjoy the video. Also, if you hear any background noise, it's because my window's open, because it's way too fucking warm to like record without window open, so... Again, really sorry guys. Hey you guys, my name's Percival and welcome back to the virtual world. Today we're going to be looking at VRChat models and how you can import your Vroid model into VRChat. So depending on how you want your model to look, it can either be very complicated or very easy. Like if you want to put like shaders, particle effects and things like that on there, yeah it's going to take a lot of effort and gonna it's going to take a while. But if you just want your model the way you made it in Vroid, then it's going to be like, quite easy. I'm just going to be focused on getting our model in there because that's all I know how to do. So first we're going to want to extract our Vroid model from Vroid itself. If you didn't check out Tuesday video, I showed you how to do that there, so I'll make sure to link it below. Next after that we're going to want to get the um, VRChat SDK 3.0, so that's just right here. Let me actually download that. Uh, there we go. And that's downloading. After that, we're gonna want to get the VRM converter for, um, for VRChat. I'll make sure to link all these in the description. Just so you guys, it's easy for you guys to get them. Uh, there we go. And finally, what we're gonna to want to do is get Unity. So we go to 2018, and we should be able to download it from here. As easy, just Unity Hub should work. And yeah. Now we're done with all the software, so now we can move on to actually getting into Unity. So as we can see, I'm now in Unity. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Import Package, Custom Package. We're going to find the VR Chat SDK. As we can see, it's up here. So we're just going to import that in here. And now as we can see, that's been imported in. We've got this little splash screen right here. And we just want to close that down as we can see up here we've got VRChat SDK now so after that we're going to want to import again we're going to do the same thing here we're going to do import package custom package and we're going to go for the VRM converter and as we can see that, now we're done with all the importing so now what we're going to do we're going to go VRM import and then we need to find our VRM file so if I go to documents VRM and now which is I'm going to use Percival new, save that, and as we can see Percival is now in here. So after that we're going to click on our prefab, it's down there we can see, after that we're going to go to VRM and duplicate and convert for VRChat. I think for all of these you just, I think you just leave these alone and duplicate and convert. Okay cool, now we're in. And then, I'm a bit too close in then, so we'll just click on our little prefab here and then we go to the VRC avatar descriptor. Now we go to view view position and we just need, need just to just edit this so what I usually do is I just click on this bit forward there and that should be good. Awesome and then we just click on it again. I recommend keeping these like this. Uh, let me see I think that I think that's fine as well. Then we go to VRChat SDK we go to the control panel. As we can see, we're logged in. Um, if I just bring this over here. So as we can see, we've got like quite a lot of um, things wrong with the avatar. What I usually do is just, um, for these kind of things, you can't really fix them. Because, <laughs> well, you can fix them, but it, it's a pain. Boom. And there we just go build and publish for Windows. As we can see, it's opened this now. So we just name it. Uh, Persever. Well, two, two, and we just, why is it zoomed in? We're gonna zoom out a bit. Uh, we give it a description if you want to. Me, gone, gaga, uh, make it private because that's what it is. Make sure you agree to this and then we upload. It can take a while depending on like the your internet speed and v, like your computer speed. And awesome, we've got it uploaded now. So I really hope this video helped you guys out and thank you so much for checking out the video. I'm gonna log off now guys, so I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!